Okay, so it's Tuesday, and I promised uh, some ladies in the forum that I try to think of stories, and maybe I should tell stories regularly about, I'm sorry, I always have hair blowing in my face. I know I fiddle with my hair a lot. It drives me crazy when it touches my face. So I thought I would tell a story about a condo that I listed down in Lely. I don't even know, this must have been, well, I was writing for the Naples Daily News then, so, oh my gosh, 10, 12 years ago? So it's just a little condo, cute as a button, and uh, the, the, the children of the person who had owned it called me to sell it. So I went to Naples, or I was going to go to Naples to go check up on this condo and make sure everything was okay. It was, I think it had been shown a couple of times. I don't even know. Yeah, because I had a complaint of an odor. That's, it's slowly coming back to me. So I w went to go down there and I invited my daughter who was in college at the time to go. And I said, um, you know, come on. She's like, I got so much work. I'm like, look, you can study in the car. We'll go to the cupcake store down there. We'll make a whole day of it. It'll be a thing. So we go down to the condo and I wasn't really paying attention, walked in. Uh, we opened up all the windows, all the doors, ran water in the sink traps because a lot of times when the water evaporates, like the sewer gas comes up. Um, so I thought that would take care of it. Started smelling pretty good, closed up all the doors, just go to leave and start stinking again. Can't figure it out. So I don't know. I, for some reason, went out front and under the edge of the, of the doormat, there's this little piece of paper, hot pink in color. You know what that means, right? Florida Power and Light. The power had been turned off and it's like, you know, something like, you know, your power is off of because of this date. And I'm like, well, the electric's on. So I go running in and like I did the stupidest thing ever because like if you're ever in a foreclosure, never, never open a refrigerator. And I opened this refrigerator. Ooh. <laughs> it was so bad. It was so bad. Like uh, everything that was in the freezer, which included meats, had melted and disintegrated, but then somebody had put the power back on and it refroze it all. So like, I'm trying to clean up this condo and I'm like, <laughs> I'm gagging. And my daughter, bless her heart, who was up to her elbows in nursing school and doing her clinicals, put public shopping bags on her hands. And she's like, you are so embarrassing. And like that little girl was like, four foot 11, super nurse, cleaned out that freezer while her mom was throwing up in a corner. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, that was something. That was like, you know, it had been a while since I had had a first and it, <laughs> I was really slow on the roll to get up to speed with what had happened. But that freezer was booby trapped and I let it out. So um, those folks had to buy themselves a new freezer because that's the way it goes when it's a freezer spoils, you can't ever get rid of the smell. And uh, that's that. So I hope you enjoyed your tale on Tuesday and we will chat with you soon.